Flyers hosting the Bruins, and the Bruins are minus 154 on the money line. The Flyers are plus 128. The over-under is at 5.5 goals. The Bruins, laying a goal and a half on the puck line, are plus 164, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. The game has to end in regulation. And the Flyers, getting a goal and a half on the puck line, are minus 200, meaning if you bet them that way and they would win this game outright, you'd win. Or if they would only lose this game by one goal, you'd win. The game goes into overtime, you bet them that way, you automatically win. Now, it's supposed to be Urson and Allmark. Neither goaltender has been confirmed for tomorrow's game. Head-to-head. The Bruins are 7-3 and three against the Flyers in their last 10. The Bruins are on a five-game winning streak against the Flyers. The home team is 6-4. and four. The favorite is on a five-game winning streak. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. And the favorite winning by multiple goals on the puck line, laying a goal and a half, is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. There have been three one-goal games in their last 10. The over is 5-4-1. and one, And the over at five and a half goals is 6-4. and four. This is their first meeting between each other this season. The Bruins are 3-1 and one in their last four. There was a total of 13 goals, 5 goals, 5 goals, and then 5 goals again. 9 goals in a win, 4 goals in a win, 2 goals in a loss, and then 3 goals in an overtime win. For the Flyers, they are on a 4-game losing streak. There was 11 goals, 8 goals, 9 goals, and 3 goals. 4 goals in a loss, 3 goals in a loss, 3 goals in a loss, and then shut out in a loss. I really don't trust Urson. I think the... Uh, I think the Bruins are a better team. I'm going to take the Bruins with the money line. I will take the Bruins laying the goals, and I'll go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.